Right, we are bombard... Oh, right, no, never mind. Oh, that's over here, okay. 30% for British intervention, okay. We need to defeat the 7th Division there. But we need to push upon this area, because if we could actually win that, that'd be huge. Riverboats are making their way back up now. I think we wait for our forces to get into position, then we can march. But I mean, even having uh, Louisville is good. And in Cincinnati, it'd be a really good prize as well. I'm sure they'd attack automatically. I'm not too sure it's going to win the 7th Division, but it doesn't look to be much of a threat. It might still be considered fleeing, I'm not too sure. We'll form up for the Army of the Ohio. Yeah, that's true. Agricultural one. God damn! I think maybe we do need to invest more in policies, but I'm not... <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm impressed. Uh, looking forward to when the game's performance increases. What are we looking at here? Two days. You can see our finances increase there. I imagine that's probably from Catra St. Louis uh, of Louisville. Okay, I'm going to put additional policies in place. I think it's worthwhile, actually. That's almost an industrialization. Okay, there's conscription over there, but I don't think it's worthwhile. I think what we're trying to do, then, is go down the diplomacy route. Um, I have to take free trade to go that way. But I can start working on that now, actually. Save that. We might be able to manage it then. Um, we'll allow that then. I'm going to cost us, but I mean, the finances of the game seems to be wacky at the moment in time. Yeah, like this doesn't cost us right now, so I'm not too sure if it's always, if it's like properly in. Is it not on auto manage? If I click military again, I have, haven't I? can't have it. Oh, I see, yes. Good, good. I mean, that should be winnable. So I'll alter Zolva. What? Interesting. Yes, the music is fantastic. Definitely, definitely it's fantastic. Uh, let's have the march. I've collected... Uh... Right, they're bombarding the fort. I just don't know which fort they're bombarding. Have the march. Fifty percent chance of victory. Yeah. Shiza.
Okay. Now for the Arbor Virginia, I think being able to issue orders is going to be really worthwhile. So that should actually speed the... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll get another pack then. Right. Go for the uh, blunts. Have you sent to the aid of the Army of Virginia? Got another perk? Okay, I guess. We can definitely jump on that. Right, so we do have a siege's now. So Fort Monroe, six three percent, Morgan fifty. So does that have us in contact with everybody else here, then? It seems so. I'm going to allow that all to resolve. We do have Jackson's car on the way, so they will reinforce. Uh, so we do have the industrialization here. I think uh, when the game is readier in the future, obviously when it's worked upon more in the future, as time goes by, I think I will fight more of these battles, but until I can be sure that things will work out as I, I, I want them to work, <laughs> or need them to work, or as I understand them to work, I think it might be just worthwhile going for the auto result for the time being. Plus it allows us to play the game, get through the days, which is quite fun. So more support for Confederate factories, iron case made for Confederate ships, mass production do weapon types. Armored civilian ships made possible. Cool. Right, so we have that now. So I could go for civilian warships. Hmm. Eight out of ten policies. I wonder if I wonder if you have to uh, impress them, that's interesting. Right. So I'm not familiar with the actual policy system, so I don't know if I spend all these points, will I actually be able to get them back? Uh, so we'll leave it as is for time being, I guess. Or can you actually just... Not too sure. Right, so they are engaged. Not exactly ideal. 
35 versus 48. Hmm. I need these resolved quickly. Oh, and the Battle of Manassas Junction has ended with the Coast Division retreating from the battlefield in good order. Uh, my command has earned us a total victory. With the enemy army run for their lives, the enemy has reportedly suffered casualties of 404 men, thereof 37 killed and zero captured. Uh, our casualties is 190. We captured two... minus two guns? I'm not too sure if that's minus two. Uh, but 84 and two, I think. Right. Confederate forces, uh, Confederate forces are victorious here. Okay, so their retreat has been, thank God for that. Now... Hmm... That's a very small victory there, but we might be able to march. We already have Johnson's Corps, Jackson's Corps, already on the way there. Yeah. If we could try to seize Manassas, I'd be really happy about that. I believe this is Manassas here, isn't it? If we could seize Manassas, I'd be very, very hell. Well, it'd be really great. Really great. Yes, if we could seize... Oh, sorry, yes, Alexandria. That's what I meant. If we could seize Alexandria, that'd be good. There's Washington here, but... Well, this is it. But we do have flying column here, so we do move faster, which is ideal. We'll see what we can manage. Any gown, uh, any gown? Any ground gained is worthwhile. Thank God for that. I don't know why it's moving there, but I guess. Okay, Confederacy introduces free trade. Europeans enjoy low tariffs. Increased support for the Confederacy. Demand for cotton remains high. Okay. Right. Oh, do we fight the forts as well outside Washington? Okay, that's good to know. Right, so we have our policies here then. So we're going to go for Diplomacy 2. Which we're already working on. Okay. Hey, didn't they hilt? Good to have you, my man. Oh, there's Department of Vision, yeah. I think they're still on to see John Fame. Yeah, the uh, tax indeed will be good. Yes, uh, technically Manassas Junction is in ours right now. Is it worthwhile moving Jackson? Hmm. Yeah. I think we leave Jackson here. I can't abandon Harper's Ferry. Oops. Let the game do its thing. The Army of Virginia is increasing in size, which is good. Okay. So, stop. And let's see, the mounted department over here is interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's it, isn't it? Maybe we'll move a little bit closer to the rail line or something. Mounted apartment. And 
They're coming ashore here. Fuck. That department of Virginia is rather annoying. Yeah, they're marching there. Are we besieging the force now, technically? It looks like it. How is that on mine? Hmm. Oh well, I, I guess we'll leave it as is. <laughs> I, I don't think there's much I want to do in that situation there. Need these actual uh, battles to be resolved. What have we seen here? 26, what? Ah, there we go. The Battle of Morgan has ended with the Fort Morgan garrison retreating from the battlefield in good order. My command has earned his remarkable strategic victory. With the enemy forced to give ground, the enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties of one man. <laughs> well, okay. Hey, Dunes Scurvy. I'd say new game. It is just recent release on Steam. Um... But it's in early access, essentially. So we've retaken Fort Morgan, which is Goodwin. Right, okay. We'll retake Norfolk. I'm not too sure. How many men are actually in there? Jesus. Not many. They'll figure it out. But there we go, we have that. We can retake Norfolk, then. Oh wow, did it actually work? Wow, it did. Yes, they're moving to engage as well. Which city, though? Manassas? Yeah, it looks like Manassas. Is it Manassas? Yes, Manassas. So we have control, uh, control of Manassas Junction, then. That's good. That looks like it's well worthwhile. Okay.
Yeah, moving like molasses on molasses. Pretty ship's lost. Looks like we were defeated then. Okay, well, we gave it our best. I need to sign out to Steam. <laughs> I've never signed into Steam. There we go. Yeah, I get very early access, of course, yes. Okay. It's a very ambitious game, and I've got to give it to them. It's not going to be an easy uh, project to bring to fruition. Uh, but I think they might be able to manage it. They're doing a good job so far. Right. Where is the army of the Ohio? Are oh, they still here? Okay. Hmm. We're going to wait upon the uh, reserve corps here. Yes, 1861 access. <laughs> I like it. Right, we'll wait upon the reserve corps and then we'll march north. Mm -hmm. I just enjoy the music. I mean, the soundtrack itself is just fantastic. Right, not far now. So we have British Intervention back at 40. Right. 72% victory at Monroe. Working on that. Speed things up then. That causes a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, the good news is in the future when I do actually, well, hopefully, uh, maybe by next week, maybe the week after, when I do get the new laptop, and it's it's going to be like an i9 10 core, so it's going to be freaking great. It should ideally be able to run this game better. <laughs> One would hope. Uh, British Invention, uh, it would be upon our side. Okay, so Hill's Core has restored order. I am going to have them move down. I do need to secure that ferry. So we'll have Hill's Core moved out there to secure the ferry, and then that secures our position there. Uh, so we have here a glorious victory at Monroe. His Excellency, the President. The Battle of Monroe has ended with the Fort Monroe garrison retreat in panic. My command has earned a remarkable strategic victory with the enemy forced to give ground. So, the enemy has reportedly suffered 251 casualties. 30 killed? Zero. Okay. More casualties on our end, but we've captured, I think, 21 rifles and one gun. Not sure. But we have control of Fort Monroe now, which is really important. Uh, where's the actual river squadron? But that's actually really important. So, what we can actually do then is have the army of the peninsula. I think we could base them just outside Pit, uh, sort of Petersburg. So, we do see 26 army over here. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, but what I'd like to do is actually have the Army of Virginia, of course, here. Uh, have a force of their immediate south to support them, and other flanks. Support the flanks, essentially. And then have an army over here. I mean, this is it. There's a number of different uh, vital junctions we do need to control here. But having four more is very good for us. Very, very good. Um, I mean, this is it. It might be worthwhile creating a division to actually act as the garrison there. Hmm. So we have Mississippi here. Oh, right, I see, I see. Well, I mean, it's... It can't go much more in our favour, considering all the... I mean, well, this is it, we have... We have the 25 ship squadron here. Uh, I believe we have the divisions here as well. The actual men in the forts. Let's turn the uh, movement lines off. I guess they're not going to turn off. <laughs> oh, Yami of Ohio is leaving. Good. Right, we're going to make a move immediately towards Mississippi. Uh, sorry, um, what's the name of the city again? You know which one I'm on about. I think the Reserve Corps. Uh, Nashville, that's it, Nashville. move out as well. Move there. The difficulty is... Oh, yes. Yeah, this is a problem. It's hard to keep an eye on everything that's going on. Hmm. Well, if we have them hold in position on the defensive and build and like entrench, then we might be able to. Uh, it's a shame we didn't catch it, but they're not too far, not too far out. But if we can actually have the Confederacy, uh, the Confederate army sweep from the south, but I mean, we finally got what we wanted over here. There's not much I could have done about this more, uh, so let's hope for the best. Hey, Domestic Snake, good to have you, my man. And we do have the Union gunboats between, like, two forts there that ideally are engaging. We got the forts? Shut the door. Shut the front door. Yeah, definitely early access, but I'm going to take the opportunity. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a shame there, Snake. I know, my man. Oh, Hill. Don't do that, my son. Tell them to move around river. But, I mean, if we can get the... Army Virginia into Washington, then, uh, okay. Bloody go. <laughs> go! Yeah, the game's definitely in early access. You can tell that, but man, I'll take it. I'll take it. Wow. There's no way in reality this would happen. Literally none. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I don't know about Nationalist Socialist. I don't know about that. That's Alexandria there. And his forces are moving away, so goddamn go for it. Right, but there's battle here. That's pretty close, that. Wow, okay. Reinforcements could be moved. But I mean, this is it. They have far more than we do. So just hope for the best, I guess. Our farms are being constructed. That's cool. Impressive. I mean, that's kind of weird how it's worked out, but it's worked out. <laughs> so, whatever. Not going to question. Yeah, Jackson's call is already on the way. Yep. And I believe we have Nashville. Hmm. So this would be quite hard to actually coordinate what to do from this position. So the 7th Division has moved out there. And this is it. Obviously the game's in early access, but that's quite the turnaround there. I mean... We'd have to defeat the armies to have Kentucky secede. So... Invade the North, yes. Win the first major battle battle, yes. And if we took DC, that's a big blow. Kentucky, no. Haven't Kentucky be amazing? Then joined the uh, Union on the 6th of March, apparently. Yeah, Missouri. Join the Union? Yeah, indeed. Hmm. Right, so that's just his siege combat. Well, I mean, this is it. Um, they'd obviously be able to... I mean, this is it. It shouldn't be happening, really. It, sh it just shouldn't be happening. Um... But there we go. <laughs> I think this is a good place for us to leave it off here for today, though. So thank you for watching that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, quite a turnaround, and... I think it probably works better to actually have some of these battles all to resolve, really. It's looking good in Kentucky. We had that one, which was nice. And we'll see. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in the future. If you have enjoyed this, please do go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube, where if you're watching this in the future, hello. And uh, if you're watching here on Twitch, Please do consider following myself here on Twitch, and if you would be so kind, perhaps consider becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. That would be fantastic. See, they keep, they keep changing the name of the Twitch Prime 
subscription. So uh, if you guys would feel free to subscribe via Twitch, that'd be fantastic, actually. It'd be really good. It really helps me out. Uh, if you enjoy my content, that is. If you can't afford it, don't worry. Look after yourself first. Until next time, thank you for watching. I am as I. And, uh, well, well, we'll see what happens at Washington, I guess. <laughs> kind of crazy. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.